The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. Jesus said, I tell you most solemnly, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but gets in some other way, is a thief and a brigand. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. The gatekeeper lets him in. The sheep hear his voice. One by one he calls his own sheep and leads them out. When he has brought out his flock, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow because they know his voice. They never follow a stranger, but run away from him. They do not recognize the voice of the strangers. Jesus told them this parable, but they failed to understand what he meant by telling it to them. So Jesus spoke to them again. I tell you most solemnly, I am the gate of the sheepfold. All others who have come are thieves and brigands. But the sheep took no notice of them. I am the gate. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. He will go freely in and out and be sure of finding pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus makes his mission very clear to each one of us. And his mission is this, as we find in the Gospel of today, especially in the Gospel of St. John chapter 10, verse 10, where he says, I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. My dear brothers and sisters, if you look at the book of Genesis, we were created and blessed with this fullness of life but it was because of the sin of disobedience we lost that fullness of life but Jesus is offering us once again a share in the fullness of life and what are we to do to receive it it is only this that we are called to listen to the voice of our Savior Jesus obey him and follow him and all those who follow Jesus he will definitely lead each one of them to pasture so my dear brothers and sisters we are called to listen and how can we listen to the voice of Jesus it is in and through prayer Jesus throughout his life spent enormous time of prayer Without prayer, he never began or ended his day. It was in and through his prayer that he listened to the voice of his beloved father and he did whatever his father told him. And so also with us, when we spend time in prayer, talking and listening, the Lord will guide us. The Lord will lead us, lead us to enjoy and have a share in his resurrection. That is what also we heard in the first reading where St. Peter says God can grant even the pagans the repentance that leads to life. So my dear brothers and sisters, God is offering his fullness of life to each one of us. So let us embrace this fullness of life that Jesus is giving to each one of us. And when we embrace it, let us not forget to listen to his voice and follow him faithfully. May God bless us, guide us and strengthen us. Amen.